in Texas, and they're called Pentecostal Church. <laughs> as soon as they walk in, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, amen. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today?
So try Match.com. I do hope you find a husband, just not somebody else's. <laughs> so, anyway, but I like to keep up. But lately, like about since at least December, the news has been so bad, so violent, depressing, that you, sometimes you need a break, you know, they have it on 24 hours. And that's especially true when something's going wrong in your personal life. Which happened to me Sunday. I had to go to the memorial for, for an old friend, Bonnie, and it was a great memorial, but when I got out, it was wiped out, and I said, whatever I do, I must not go home and turn on CNN. <laughs> so, at this point, so I got in the car and I'm riding home on State Street and I try to try National Public Radio because that's always kind of uplifting. This woman on there had the nerve to say, well, this here psychologist, he's gone into the prisons, he's scanned all the brains of the serial killers to find out what they do, why they do that. I just turned that off real fast. <laughs> then I get home and I just turn on the TV and I have a new, you know, those digital things. You can scan and then you can read about it. So, this is my TV guide. So the first thing, the first thing I was going to go to was the Discovery Channel. Now I'm home alone, all by myself, and the Discovery Channel has the nerve to put on, stop, somebody's watching you. <laughs> so, I said, oh, yeah. Then, the next thing, I went to the Investigation Channel. And it's a show called Disappeared, followed by Who the F Did I Marry? <laughs> Although, Who the F Did I Marry is pretty funny. Because it's always the same thing. If they find, they're like star cross, cross lovers, you know, it's all perfect. That lasts 10 minutes. And then they get married and somebody's checking account is totally drained. Or they have other husbands or other wives. Anyway, it's funny. And then, they, then they'll have the next one. It's the same thing. But it makes you feel better about your life. So after that, I said, I will try the religious channel. It might not be my religion, but it could be uplifting. So on there, if you're up kind of late, is the Reverend Popoff, P-O-P-O-F-F. -F. And this is all true. He, um, he wants you to get the evil out of your life. He kind of had a southern accent. You got to get the evil out of your life. How are you going to do that? Well, send the Reverend Popoff $9.99 for shipping and handling, and he will send you the no evil oil. And it's more that should be called the no shit oil or something. But anyway, after that, I tried the animal channel, which is always cute little animals running around. It's about, let's see, my cat from hell. A cat totally destroys two women's lives. Click. Then, after that, I tried, I tried the Lifetime Channel, a channel, a romantic channel for women. But tonight it's untold stories of the ER, which I think they should remain untold. You know, nobody's ever had a good time in the ER. Why make a big show out of it? Oh my God. After that, it was Lifetime Channel, which I just did that one, or skipped that. I went to Movie Channel, and it was a killer upstairs. <laughs> and the last one was the local Santa Barbara Channel 17, and that damn yoga lady's on there making kale salad again. <laughs> I'm sick of that kale salad. But wait, there is something funny. Let me scan it again. My big, fat, body gypsy wedding. Now that has got no violence that's real, and it's about gypsies wearing, competing with each other with these big, pimped out wedding dresses that have lights, Christmas lights that turn on and off, and um, it always ends in the reception, they all get drunk and go to jail. And that's followed by this show in South Carolina, Myrtle Manor Trailer Park, which is another safe show if you don't want anything serious. Um, but sometimes on the news there will be somebody funny. Uh, recently, Anthony Weiner was on there. 
He's going to run for the mayor of New York. Does anybody remember what he did when he had to resign? Who knows? Who wants to say? He was showing his junk on the Twitter account. Not his face, because he thought he wouldn't get caught. But there were pictures of his family all over the back wall. So he had to resign. But now he's back, and um, his publicist said, don't make too many public appearances right now. You've been uh, too public already, and actually, you are just way overexposed, sir. <laughs> so, so he said, okay, but he might win. I have hope for him, because two days ago, Mark Stanford won by a landslide. Who's Mark Stanford? He resigned after he told his wife and his staff. He said, I'm going out on the Appalachian Trail, and he won't be able to reach me for five or six days, but he was actually in Brazil with his mistress, and he came back, he had to resign. But he won Tuesday, he's back in. I think he's now, he was the governor of South Carolina. Myrtle Manor Trailer Park backed him, and he's back in. But I tell you, you younger women in the office, in here, if any man ever tells you he's going out on the Appalachian Trail, while at the same time he's dressed to the nines and has a men's cologne on, he's not going on the Appalachian Trail like that. You just say, well, if you go on that trail one more time, you're going to go on the Appalachian Trial for a divorce, and it's going to be long and dirty. <laughs> 